Monastery. Rush. Thanks for splitting it. No problem. You know, you're welcome to stay at my place if you want. Pretty much got that roach problem licked. I'm going army. Come on, you got some warped idea about the army. You think it's like a health club with neat uniforms or something. I go in the army, they turn my body into a dangerous weapon. They make me a black belt. I'll come out a human killing machine. I think we should go to California again and pick fruit. They give you money. Who? The GI Bill. Borrow all the money you want. You shut up about the army. You borrow all the money, you buy a Winnebago. They ship it anywhere you want. You got lots of travel. Can't mind do, guaranteed. Yeah, dysentery, guaranteed. I'll be over there in Nepal with those monkey head chicks. They'll all be hitting on me. Hey, John, thanks a lot for keeping the Chinese off our backs. We really appreciate it. Is there anything we can do for you? Oh, and uh, by the way, handsome, we've never been in a Winnebago. You figure it out. You ever heard any stories about the gratitude of the Nepalese people? No. They'll probably teach me to levitate. A black belt who can levitate? With a Winnebago. Check, please. I can see you've got this all figured out. You're nobody's fool when it comes to your future, John. I'm falling apart here. All I've got are a lot of bad habits and a lot of bad debts. I need some heavy discipline in my life. You know who would be incredible in the army? Who? You. Get out of here, I'd hate it. You would be, man. You could go right into intelligence. I'm not going in. You could be a commander. You could probably be a general in a year. I mean, Charles de Gaulle was a general. You're smarter than him. That guy was like a member of the Steel Plate Club. I ought to run right down there and join up, huh? Well, I was gonna go over there. We could use your car. We'd have to, wouldn't we? Yeah. things today, John. I've never felt more alive in my whole life. I think this is the greatest day I've ever spent. And I want to thank you for making me join the army. Get me out of here. Sick when I fly, I think they're dramming me. These are almost micro dots. That's acid. Uh -huh. John, I took a lot of these. How many? Oh, uh, one just now, one in the barracks, two in the Jeep. Oh. Two when we got out of the Jeep. Oh too. no. Six hits. Oh. What a tragedy. Hey. Hey, we're not gonna let you drive now. You sit right down here. Buckle up here, cowboy. Stow your tray table in the upright position, will you? You're gonna be just fine in about 12 hours. It's gonna be kind of weird till then. But... Oh, oh, bells are ringing. <laughs>
Operations Group. Who are you? I'm Major Dodge. Captain DeSoto. Pleasure to meet you, Hollister. Heard a lot about you. Well, I never heard of you. And you're not on my roster. <laughs> That's just the way we like to keep it, Captain. It's double, double top secret. Intelligence? Some. Anything I could tell you would be a lie, Captain, so... How about we just tag along with you to your destination, and then we'll go our separate ways. Dismiss, Captain. Captain Lady, sing the song. Do da, do da. Captain Racetrack, five miles long. Oh, do da, day. Wind run all night. Go and run all day. I'll let my money go. Not to panic. We should like build a shelter, I think, and then we make some stone tools and we can cut some spears and arrows. Because tonight we're gonna go out and kill a wild boar. And then we're gonna dry the meat for traveling. And in the morning, we can chop down a big tree, and make our dugout canoe. And we can find a river that'll probably run down to the ocean. And if we're lucky, I think we'll drift into those major shipping lanes. We'll probably get picked up in a day or two by a Liberian freighter. What do you think? I think we should find a hotel room. That's a good idea. Hello? I think some of these plants are edible. Yeah. Not that one. I think we might have to settle for a motel. This looks like a main road. Oh yeah, this is the interstate right here. Yeah. We just find a gas station, they'll tell us where all the nice things are. What a rush! The sky is brown. Bit of the ¿Quién es son? Señora. Ay. Muévete. Thank you. Siéntese. Hola. Hola. Con mucho gusto. Uh, perdóneme, señor. Uh, ¿Qué hora es? Good, good, good. Uh, pills. <laughs> For you. Se come? Good, good. Mmm. Gorda, ponde el caldo. Oh, está bueno esto. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good in stew, yeah. Yeah, put about 30 in there. Yeah. That's good. Oh, great. Mm. Time to get out of here. Nos. Son muy simpático. A su problema. What is their struggle? ¿Qué es su problema? Mi problema. Mi problema son ustedes. No. Pónmelos en el árbol. It's cutting time. El párate. Levántate. Apunten. One momento. 
Quando, 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 quando. 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 Quando, quando, quando. Man, I realize this uh, tragic injury to your drill sergeant is a real shock. Uh, especially this close to the end of basic training. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Sergeant Crocker is 100% responsible for the entire thing. That's not what I heard. Who said that? Pick that up? Who said that? Who said that? Did you say that? Did you say that? Who said... I said that. Now, I don't care what you heard. My report states that Sergeant Crocker was negligent in his mortar instructions and totally unable to control his men. Have it your way, sir. You bet I will, soldier. Now, I do not want to hear one more insubordinate word from anyone in this platoon. The subject is closed. You better stop worrying about what happened to Sergeant Hulka and start worrying about how you're going to pass muster at graduation. You've got three days to get it together. And if you want my honest opinion, you're not gonna make it. No, stragglers. Now, come on. We owe it to Sergeant Hulka to end up face down in the gutter tonight. Come on. Hey, baby. Real beauty, Colonel. You can count on us. Fall in! I need two volunteers. You and you, you'll guard this vehicle until 0800 on Monday morning. And the rest of you got the weekend off. Dismissed? Yeah. Yeah. Sarge, why me? Oh, I don't know, son. I ain't got no military reason for it. I just don't like you. Have a nice weekend. Oh, yeah. I want that so clean, I can eat off the floor. The shit kicked out of me in Wisconsin once. Forget it. Russell, what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid, John. There are two things I promised myself I'd try never to do. Kill and die. Russell, what if the Russians were raping your sister? Come on, you know my sister. You practically raped her one night. The Russians wouldn't have to force her. They'd just have to buy her dinner. Russell, that is our platoon out there. That's Ox and Elmo and Cruiser. I love those guys. We're their only chance. Two things, John. First of all, they hate your guts. Those bastards. Second of all, when I finish all my training, I'm probably going to be a typist. Now, when you invade a hostile foreign nation, you don't send your typists in the first wave. They got guys who like to do that, John. Let's give them a call, okay? Okay. Yeah, we won't go in. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, my hero. <laughs> Damn it, though. We're so close. I'd love to just go take a look. You know, I mean, the Iron Curtain, it's got to look great. I'd love to have a picture of it anyway. Think we could do that? 
take us about an hour. We could drive over, get a couple pictures, and come right back. Well, just look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a much better plan. Huh? Yeah. <laughs>